Um, in 1997, I was fresh out of college and my first job, I worked for EAA, and we were starting to plan the countdown to Kitty Hawk activities. And we wanted to come up with an idea that would tie Kitty Hawk and Oshkosh and unite with a, a race and came up with a concept. We approached Tom Poberesny with it. He loved the idea and um, said, all right, we're going to do this. Uh, form a committee and let me know what you need. The first race was in 1998. We had 10 racers. and. Um, the goal was we wanted to kind of know what we were doing by 2003, and so we wanted to have a couple practice swings. So we, we did that, and then by 2003, we had uh, almost 100 airplanes race. And so we've raced out of Mitchell, South Dakota, and then um, Mount Vernon, Illinois uh, hosted it. And then we decided to, like 2021, do something different, and we did a round robin race course and started uh, up here, and, and it was wildly successful. Everybody really liked it, so now we've, we've done two different courses over three years. So um, that's how we ended up in Wausau. This year, we, it, we have a, a very challenging course. There's seven, seven checkpoints, and it's the same course we did last year, which was the most competitive race we've ever had. The cross-country race, um, you get to see some amazing scenery around the country, whether it's point to point or the beautiful flight we had up over the UP of Michigan and Wisconsin. Uh, different type of racing, but also the, the innovation that's happening, the competitors, um, it's all the airplanes that, that are out there. You know, there was 172s, there was Moonies, there was Cirruses. Uh, one of the Cirrus jet was there, which we beat him. <laughs> There's lots of long-time participants, a lot of 20-year veterans, that sort of thing. We have a whole bunch of rookies as well, so there's, there's a lot of, um, and the, that rookie group comes in from the excitement that the long-time returning racers have. We've never been here before. I've been into Oshkosh, but never to the Air Venture Cup race. I mean, I've never been to anything like this, so this is awesome. For us. So this was my, I think, third or fourth year racing the Air Venture Cup. I, I, I've done it so many times I lost count. Right now we're both working on our flight instructor rating, so Pretty much at ISU, we got everything we needed, so we got our private commercial instrument and multi-engine. So right now we're working on our flight instructor rating so we can hopefully instruct at ISU one day. So it's a Diamond DA-20 powered by a Continental IO240 pushing 125 horsepower. Um, cruise speed for us is about 110 knots. I'm flying a 1996 Cozy 3 and it is incredibly fun to fly, mean this for us. So yeah, the Lancer Legacy is an amazing airplane. So it's it's made for fast cross-country cruiser. Um, it's nice to you know have the side-by-side -side seating. It's really comfortable. Um, amazing visibility of that canopy, the bubble canopy. Part of the the, the course is strategy. Um, like what altitude you're going to fly because you got winds and, and all these things that you factor in. So there's going to be a, a ton of strategy. But the, there's that how how good can I do personally? But then. I want to beat the person who beat me last year, kind of thing. As we were coming into the, actually the last turn point, we were watching the Turbine Legacy and we were catching them. You know, the first one was eight miles and then five miles and then three miles. And then that last turn point, we, we got them in sight and we got there at the same time. So uh, pretty exciting to catch those guys. They built an amazing airplane. I'm very impressed with that. But uh, it was pretty fun to, to catch them in the piston powered airplane. So we ended up getting the fastest speed. Our average, so including the climb out and all that was 326 miles an hour. The world's fastest family reunion. 25th Air Venture Cup and the 70th uh, Air Venture. I've been coming since I was 15 years old. And it can almost bring tears to your eyes. It's, it's the greatest collection of the most wonderful people on earth. All the people here, it's just been amazing. I mean, we've been talking to more people than we count. Everybody has a different story. I mean, different advice to offer us. So, I mean, we're just making connections along the way. And as much fun as it is to race or fly the air show, or do everything else. It's every member of the AA and every staff member and every volunteer and basically only once a year that are your best friends of your life. Okay, we get to fly into Oshkosh and then we get there and everybody's on the ground and, and it's just a giant celebration of aviation after that. This was the 25th year, something really special to hit that milestone and uh, they've done a great job uh, putting all that together. 